Hey, I'm Terry from Lacrosse Technology, and right now we're going to be looking at the WS9611 weather station. The WS9611 comes with a TX6 sensor, and uh, the first thing we do with this station is bring the cover off the sensor and put our batteries into it. Once we have the batteries in the sensor, we're just going to move that off about three to five feet for the initial setup. And now we'll put the batteries into the weather station itself. To open them, we just push down on the tab and it flips forward. And again, we're using alkaline batteries as we do in all of our units. The station beeps. And very shortly, it will start showing us the temperatures. And indoor temperature and humidity. And the flashing icon indicates that it is trying to locate the sensor for the outdoor temperature and humidity. That search can take up to two minutes. Okay, after Oscar, this little guy in there, after the machine has picked up the outdoor temperature, what we want to do is go through the setting routine. We use the set button and the channel plus button. When we press the set button, we hold it long enough to get the letters LCD with a flashing number up where the time is. Once we see that, the number that's flashing simply is how dense the display will be. We're going to press it again, and we have our time zone flashing. It defaults to minus 5, which is the east coast. I'm in the Midwest, so I'm going to set it to minus 6. I press the set button once again. DST shows up, and it's telling me it's on. That means the system will recognize daylight savings time. If I was in a place that didn't have that, I'd press this plus button to turn it off. Pressing the set button once again, I have RCC for radio controlled clock. Yes, I want Fort Collins to set the time for me, so I'm going to leave it on. Pressing the set button once again, I have the option of the 12 hour clock, or by pressing the channel button, I can go to the 24 hour military type clock. I'm going to leave it in 12 hour. Pressing the set button again allows me to set the time. This is set at 11 p.m. right now. I want to make it about 2 in the morning using my plus button. Pressing the set button again allows me to set the minutes. It's at two minutes after, we'll make it 2.15. The set button once again allows me to change the year. It's at 2004, let's take it at 2011 so we're accurate. Pressing the set button once again, flashes the month, the channel plus button, we'll adjust that. We're going to make it April and pressing the set button once again flashes the day. It's showing the 31st. Let's make it April 1st, April Fool's Day. Pressing my set button once again flashes an airport designator. Your instruction manual will have a list of designators. You want to set the designator closest to you. The closest to me is La Crosse, Wisconsin. That's LSE and I've set it. Pressing the set button once again gives me the ability to set my snooze alarm Pressing the set button once again gives me the option of Fahrenheit or Celsius temperatures. I'm going to put it in Fahrenheit with the plus button. Pressing set once again gives me a forecast sensitivity. Unless I live on the seashore or in the mountains, I'm going to leave that at 2. And pressing the set button once again takes me back to my normal situation. There are a number of other settings we can do. Notice that I have the time and seconds counting. The set button controls how this portion of the display looks. By pressing it again, I'm showing what time the alarm is set for. 6 o'clock is a default. The instructions will tell you how to set that if you want to use this as an alarm clock. Pressing the set button once again gives me a month, day, year. Pressing set once again gives me a day of the week, month, year. I'd like to pay special attention to the area down here. On the bottom we have the phases of the moon showing, but the top area is important to us. Notice there's a small arrow pointing upward next to the sun. That says that the time shown here is sunrise for La Crosse, Wisconsin. If I press the snooze button, now my arrow is pointing down. And that shows me on April 1st of 2011, sunset was at 627. And if I press the snooze button once again, 
it's showing me the total number of hours and minutes of daylight for that date. Now understand that these are going to be off by an hour or so until the clock has picked up the WWVB time signal. When it picks that up, there will be an icon showing right next to the time on the edge here. It's going to look like a triangle with three arcs above it. Our forecast icon is Oscar. Oscar will change his clothes as the temperature changes and the pressure. Right now, Oscar is saying, wow, it's 78, almost 79 degrees outside, so he's got his easy chair out, he's got his swim trunks on, and he's ready to enjoy the afternoon. One of the nice aspects of this particular weather station is it will handle up to three of the uh, remote outdoor sensors. Uh, and when you have that, it will show in the little channel bar here the number of sensors, and you would change them simply by pressing the plus button. The remote outdoor sensors can be used indoor or outdoors, depending on what you want to monitor. And people have used them for things as widely different as just monitoring the outdoors and the garage to monitoring the wine cellar or the greenhouse.